This is Twit. I have something to propose that is really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, continuing in the... Uh, in the, uh, in the vein totally of, this is feasible. the show designed to scare you with facts. <laughs> totally feasible yeah. and probably Good. happening. And Good. I wouldn't mention it if I didn't think it was probably already happening, because otherwise I would not want to give them the idea. So I don't think I'm giving <laughs> oh, them the great. idea. It's really creepy. Hey, before we uh, go much farther, and today we're going to, uh, just briefly we should say, cover per something that you mentioned last week, which is SSL and perfect forward secrecy, which is implemented by some. Actually, it's we'll, we'll get into it deeply. It is available and has been like actually perfect forward, forward secrecy predates Netscape's creation hmm. of SSL. Wow. So the concept is old. And the problem is it's once again, it's one of these things where both ends have to agree and therein lies the problem because for example ie absolutely doesn't support it yeah and and my latest server uh uh server 2008 r2 it it supports it and i could offer it except then i would be vulnerable to the beast attack and so in order not to get dinged by ssl labs for, oh, GRC doesn't know what they're doing, you know, they're vulnerable to the beast attack, I have to, I have, I have no choice but to put an RC4 cipher for, in first place, and my server and Microsoft servers don't offer an RC4 cipher with perfect forward secrecy, whereas, for example, Google does. And well, and Chrome understands it, and Firefox understands. It. Anyway, it's a really interesting topic, and uh, and not you know won't require too much speed on our propeller beanies. Uh, so <laughs> I think it's going to be good.